Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Many law offices have WordPerfect documents that they need to convert to Word documents. There are many ways to perform this task and this lesson looks at some of the pros and cons of the various methods used. The main issues when converting WordPerfect legal documents to Word legal documents are preserving formatting and preserving notations such as footnote links. One method is to use the Save as Word choice when saving the document within WordPerfect. This choice seems to be the most problematic, with many users complaining of formatting issues that arise from the resultant Word document. Another method is to use some type of third-party software to perform the conversion. Once again, this can often produce formatting issues within complex legal documents that contain complicated formatting. Another method is to simply copy the text from the WordPerfect document and then paste that content into a new Word document. This method also tends to preserve formatting. Many users also find that this is a preferred method, although they also report that this will break footnote links that were contained within the WordPerfect document. Be aware that you can use the paste special command within Word to select the method used to paste the copied text if desired. A better method is to simply open the WordPerfect document from within Word, allowing Word to perform the formatting conversions. Word will typically do a much better job of converting the formatting into the correct format than WordPerfect. Also, footnote links within the legal documents will be preserved using this method, which can save editing time when converting. Many users prefer this choice. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachyoucomp dot com forward slash free